Once again, crimes committed by the Israeli regime have been debated in the European Parliament. Lawmakers condemned the brutal murder on the 11th of May of Palestinian journalist Shireen Abu Akleh. She was shot in the head by an Israeli soldier. Too often we, here in Europe, look away when the spiral of violence continues, when new settlements, plans are announced, or when another journalist gets killed or wounded. Clearly wearing press attire, 51-year-old Abba Akleh was murdered in cold blood while covering an Israeli military raid in the occupied West Bank city of Jenin. During her funeral, Israeli forces attacked mourners. The European Union is appalled by the events that took place during the funeral procession. The EU condemned this disproportionate use of force and the disrespectful behaviour. Western media and Western leaders have been accused of turning a blind eye to the international law violations continuously perpetrated by the apartheid Israeli regime in the occupied territories. Increased settler violence around the settlements, clashes at the holy sites in Jerusalem during the Ramadan, forced evictions and demolitions in the West Bank, including of EU-funded projects. Tel Aviv has been urged to fully cooperate with an independent inquiry into Shireen's murder. The EU says that's important in order to maintain the bloc's close partnership with Israel. When situations like this arise, we say it is very important for this partnership to continue in its high quality, that we have clarity about things that are happening which are actually against our principles and our values. EU legislators urge the West not to give up on the idea of a two-state solution to end the Israel-Palestine conflict. The tragic death of Sharin Abu Akla is a sad reminder of the spiral of violence taking place that continues to hunt this region. The European Parliament debate heard that Israel has killed around 50 Palestinian journalists during the past two decades. It goes without saying then that Shireen was not the first and almost certainly will not be the last. Jerome Hughes, Press TV, Brussels.